What is going on guys? Today, I'm gonna save you a lot of money. So this right here is my 2018 Audi RS3. It's fully loaded. You've probably seen it in other videos and it specifically has the adaptive cruise control with the module right here. Now, as you guys can see, it is quite rainy in Florida and we do get tropical storms quite often here with torrential downpours. Just the other day, I was driving my car to the gym in one of these torrential downpouring storms. And what happened was all of a sudden I got this crazy warning on my dash. And I apologize in advance for not filming all of this stuff because I wanted to solve the problem before I make a video on it. But I had Audi pre-sense restricted warning popping up on my dash. My adaptive cruise control was disabled as well as a couple of other features. And you know, this has happened before if you've owned an Audi with adaptive cruise control. And what that means is sometimes when there's a lot of snow or there's even a lot of rain, what it does is it ends up blocking that front sensor in the uh, front of the car. And what that does is it stops it from being able to read and see cars in front of it. And as a safety precaution, it disables the module as to not cause an accident. That's all well. Now in the past, what happens is it resets itself. When the weather clears up, the next time you start the car, that pre-sense goes away. Well, this time I wasn't so lucky and I was stuck not being able to use adaptive cruise control. Now, the crazy part is in order to get this reset, you're gonna pretty much have to bring it to the dealer. There's no other way. It threw a hard code in the car and I wasn't able to clear this code. So like usual, as with any uh, fault code that I get on my car, I use my OBD11 scanner. You can see this module right here. And I used it to scan the car and see if there were any faults. And to my surprise, there was. I had a stored static code, which means it will not go away until it is solved for misalignment or misadjustment on my adaptive cruise control radar, which was new to me. Why do I have this code? Nothing happened to the module. I looked all around in front and nothing was out of adjustment and nothing was out of alignment, but it said otherwise. And let me show you what that would look like. See, it is already raining again, but if I come down here on the front of this car, you can see where this adaptive cruise control module is. And on the sides, there's one right here. You can see that screw in the back and one all the way in here, there's another screw. And that's how you can adjust this. But this thing is on there good. You can move it, you can press it. And if you've never gotten an accident or whack this into something, it's really, it's pretty hard to move this around and knock it out of alignment. So. When that rain hit this so hard, it didn't knock anything out of alignment. It just freaked the computer and stopped it and stored a hard code saying it was misadjusted. Now, if you're an old subscriber to the channel, you know I had a similar problem with the Volkswagen Golf R that I rebuilt totaled from an auto auction co-part. And if you wanna watch that video, you can click the link down in the description or I'll post it right up here. But I had a similar problem and I was able to fix that by doing some stuff within OBD11. And I decided, hey, what the heck, let me give this a try. So I was left with two options with this stored code. After plugging in the OBD11 and trying to reset it, the code kept coming back, it's static. It would not go away no matter how many times I reset it. So I had two options. I could either figure this out myself or I can go the other route and spend several hundred dollars at the Audi dealer because they not only have to realign your car, your wheels, which is $300, but then they also have to reprogram your adaptive cruise control mod module, which is about several hundred, maybe seven or eight hundred dollars at a minimum. I decided, hey, let's try the first option first. And if that fails, then we'll go the, the route that I know will work, which is going to Audi and coughing up an arm and a leg to pay for that. But um, I decided to give it a try and I solved it. Now I wish I took photos and videos of me trying to solve it, but I'm just gonna explain to you how exactly it works regardless. And, and if you have this problem, try this method and just hear me out and trust me, it will solve the problem. Problem, and I'm very excited to say it. So the first thing you're gonna need is this OBD11 device. This is the new one here. And there's videos online explaining how you can solve uh, this adaptive cruise control problem, but they're all old and they're not updated or, or renewed for newer cars. And um, here is the actual solution. And hopefully this helps a lot of you people. So like I said before, you're going to need this OBD11 uh, device and you're going to want to plug it into your OBD port, which I already have stuff plugged in. So we're going to unplug that. And we're going to plug this in right here. You can see it going red right now. And then we're going to connect it to the app on my phone. So after plugging it in, click connect. Your Bluetooth needs to be on. We're going to click this and it's going to start connecting to the car. And once this loads up, 
we're then gonna have to scan the car and see the fault codes that we currently have on the car. And for me, it should be nothing. So we'll let this scan all the modules. And once this is done loading, I'll explain the next step. So as you can see, I have zero faults found and I don't have any codes on my car currently, but just a couple of minutes ago I did and it was for the adaptive cruise control. Now you can see if we scroll down in here and we go to adaptive cruise control, this will actually be red and you will actually have a fault on the car C1003 something 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 and that is for misalignment issue. And if you try to clear it like this, it won't clear or it will say success, but it will be static and it will keep showing up on your screen. So here's the trick and here's how you can actually solve this problem. Now, what unfortunately you are gonna have to not only purchase the uh, OBD11 device, but you're also gonna have to purchase the pro version. And you can see if I go to profile, um, I have the pro VAG right here and I don't have the upgrade to ultimate VAG, but all you need is pro VAG and it's important because you're gonna have to do some programming that will only allow you to do it if you have this version and not just the free version. It's about $65, but I'll tell you right now, $65 is a heck of a lot cheaper than several hundred dollars at Audi. Now, before I show you how to troubleshoot and program your adaptive cruise control module, I kinda wanna walk through how exactly it works and functions and why we actually got the code that we did. Now, the fault that I originally got was for a misadjustment angle. And what that means is that the module in front is set on a bracket. And if at any point that mo that module is turned, that bracket is hit, let's say you take your bumper off and you whack it, you put a new grill in front of it and you bump it, or, you know, heavy rain knocks it out of alignment here, this is how you would A, fix it, or B, this is how you would at least reset it and see what the appropriate angle is. Now, there's certain parameters that will trigger that code to pop up on your dash, and it's between a certain degree of angle. So if that adaptive cruise control module is twisted out of the angle that set limit, it will set that code, and that is negative 0.8 degrees and positive 0.8 degrees. So anywhere in between 0.8 on the negative and a positive will actually trigger that code to pop up on your car, and that's important because the next thing we need to do is look at the live data. Now, as you know, with my scenario, uh, rain was what triggered this to come on and you know save a static code. So I know from looking at it that nothing happened to it. I touched it, I pushed it, I moved it around, and it's solid. So I know for sure that it's not out of alignment, but we need to reset the parameters, get it back to a hard zero so that it can relearn itself. Now, Audi wants several hundred dollars to do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for as cheap as 60 bucks, just what it costs to get the, uh, the pro version here. So as you can see, I don't have any faults currently on my car. That's because I fixed this problem, but yours, you should have a at least one fault, which will be uh, adaptive cruise control misalignment here. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is see the live data and see where our module is actually set. What is the degree that it's in? Is it between the parameters and the degree of negative eight and 0.8? And the way we would find that is by clicking on here, scrolling down to 13, which is adaptive cruise control. And we're gonna go to live data, and this is important. And you wanna make sure you have the pro version because a lot of this you're not gonna be able to see. Now you wanna scroll down to where it says misalignment angle horizontal misalignment angle, horizontal fast algorithm, and vertical de-adjustment. And this is gonna give us the vertical axes and the horizontal axes of our module and see if it's set within negative 0.8 and 0.8. We're gonna click done. And as you can see, it has now preloaded my angle of misalignment. And as you can see, that is all within the degree of negative 0.8 and 0.8. Sometimes you might see it higher and we can play around with that. But if this clears your code, you're still good. Now, as you can see for mine, everything is okay because I just reset this. And the only way I'm gonna actually get a real reading of what my misalignment angle is, is if I go drive the car for 20 minutes and have the adaptive cruise control actually working, then we'll come back and we look and you'll actually get a proper reading of what your misalignment angle is. Now, let's say yours is still out of whack and the code is still there. This is how we can reset a hard reset. And this is the most important part because when I first looked at my fault code and then I looked at the misalignment angle on here, 
I was at 0.5, which is still well within the 0.8 parameters that's needed here. So what you need to do is actually hard reset the adaptive cruise control angles here. And this is also another reason why you need the pro version. So this is the second step. And if this doesn't work, I'll tell you a third step that you can try. So the first thing we're gonna to need to do is get out of this version that we're in. So click on change service and you can see we're currently in the diagnostic mode and we need to go into the development mode, which is paid for by the pro version. That's the only way to access this. And we need to change our service to that because we need to program the car. Then we need to head on over to adaptation and we're going to scroll down to where we see misalignment angle and vertical D adjustment. We're going to click on this and you can see right at the top we have edit and you're going to want to type in 0, 0.00. You're going to click done and then you're going to swipe right and that is going to reset your misalignment angle. And I'll do it here for you guys because I don't think it really matters. Just like this adaptations writing and we should be good to go in this setting. So I was having some trouble filming this on camera, but I was able to get it off camera and I just want to walk you through the process in case it doesn't work the first time or the second time for you there. It is possible and I want to show you what that would look like here. So remember the first thing you need to do is change your service to development mode. That's the first step. Now in this case, I chose security access because it will force you to do that, but I decided to do it first and I think that maybe is what messed it up. You can see See here after entering this after getting security access granted you then need to go over to the adaptation and then go to the horizontal scale here and then you're going to enter 0, 0.00 like we said before and you can see when i slide to write this the first time the function actually fails it doesn't go through and to most people they'd probably stop here but there is a workaround to this. You have to redo it again, go clear out and restart scanning to the OBD tool. Now here is my second attempt in the adaptive cruise control. I go over and change my service yet again to development mode, but this time don't touch security access because it should prompt you to enter it by itself. Go over to misalignment angle, enter 0, 0.00. And this time when you slide to right, it will prompt security access. Click that, it should get successful verification. And this time when you go ahead and slide to right, it should get the adaptation accepted. And this means it is indeed working. This is the function that you need. Do the same thing for vertical D adjustment, 0, 0.00 done, slide to right check it out. When you get adaptation accepted, you know it worked correctly. Now double check your work, go to live data, scroll back down, click on misalignment angle horizontal, misalignment angle uh, horizontal fast algorithm and vertical de-adjustment. And when you see it all at 0, 0.00, you would know that you've successfully hard reset your adaptive cruise control module. And now as you drive the car, you shouldn't have any more codes. And also you can now successfully go into the fault codes and click clear those faults, that misadjustment angle, and it should be gone and you should no longer be getting the code on your car. Now, if this doesn't work for you, the next thing you can do is do a static calibration, which in this case, you'll go over to basic settings, you'll go over to calibration of adaptive cruise control, and you wanna click on static, make sure static is selected. The key here is you need to have your car four feet away 1.2 meters or 120 millimeters away from a flat surface, a flat wall. So for me, what I did is I put the car four feet away. I counted, you can use a tape measure uh, from my garage door. And then I slide to right. And then I was able to actually go in and clear those static codes. It's literally that simple and it's that easy. So that's pretty much it. And that is how you can reprogram and readjust your adaptive cruise control module at home. If you ever get a pre-sense fault, so on and so forth. Now, keep in mind, do it in that order. If you've never actually messed up your cruise control module, the first thing you can do is just hard reset all of those parameters back to zero and then drive the car normally. If that doesn't work, you can try calibrating the system. And if that one doesn't work, then what's happening is your actual module is out of adjustment. And what you can do is get like a three millimeter uh, screw or whatever, and you have to adjust the actual uh, screws, the adjustment screws on the module, and then do this all over again. Go reset it back to zero, drive it around, see what the parameters are, see, take note of what they were before, what they are after, so you know which direction and which screw to adjust. And then, you know, you'll know to put it either back to where it was, or you'll know to continue going further that way. 
And that is how you'll be able to solve this problem. But hopefully this helps. Hopefully it explains enough. I know it might sound a little bit tricky, but uh, that is what worked for me. And that's what managed to clear all the codes on my car and how I was able to save several hundred dollars from the Audi dealer. With that being said, smash that like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe. Remember, you can leave comments down below if you have any questions and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.